Zigbee has just taken a big step forward. The Connectivity Standards Alliance has announced Zigbee 4.0 along with a new long range standard called Suzy. And if you rely on Zigbee for your smart home, especially if you're a home assistant user, this could genuinely make a difference. In this video, I'm going to walk through what's new and what it might mean for your smart home setup going forward. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek, a channel that's all about home assistant and smart home technology. So who or what is the CSA? Well, it was founded in 2002 and basically the members of the Alliance collaborate to ensure that there are open standards for the smart home products that we use in our homes. It has companies such as Apple, Amazon, Google, Ikea, Philips and Samsung to name just a few as board members and it was formed out of the previously named Zigbee Alliance and it was the CSA that introduced matter to us all. So what exactly has just happened? Well the CSA has announced two things. Zigbee 4.0 which is the next evolution of the Zigbee standard many of us already use and Suzy, which is the new name for a sub gigahertz long range variant of Zigbee designed for larger areas and more challenging environments. Basically, what they've announced is one upgrade to what we already use and one entirely new path going forward. So why does this matter? Well, most of us use a Zigbee because it's reliable, it's low power and works well with Home Assistant. However, it does have two kind of persistent issues. Range, especially through thick walls in maybe older houses or between buildings, can sometimes be flaky. And the second issue is that devices occasionally fall off the mesh for no apparent reason. Uh, the updates announced aim to address both of these problems. So what are the key improvements? Well, First up, we've got better network range. So Zigbee has always used the 2.4 gigahertz band, which is a crowded place as many of us will have a Wi-Fi set up using this alongside the Zigbee mesh. Zigbee 4.0 adds support for lower frequency bands in Europe and North America. And in doing so, these frequencies can travel further and penetrate walls better, which should help with homes that have difficult layouts. Then we've got improved reliability. And for this, they've introduced several behind the scenes improvements for how devices stay connected, how battery devices check in and how the mesh reorganizes itself. This isn't the kind of change you'll necessarily see, but you certainly should notice the difference in day-to-day -day operation. The next area they've improved upon is adding a new device and they've streamlined this process with new features aimed at cutting down on those frustrating purring failures we've all experienced. But most importantly with these changes, your existing Zigbee 3.0 devices will still work just fine. You don't need to replace anything. In addition to this, they've also announced Suzy, which is essentially Zigbee, but built specifically for long range sub gigahertz operation. So this will be ideal if you're trying to communicate with devices in outbuildings, garages, uh, gardens, or even if you have a very large home or commercial space. This matters because if you've ever had a sensor or light that's just slightly too far from your nearest router, maybe it works intermittently or drops off the mesh, then this is the kind of technology that would solve that problem for you. Certification for Suzy starts in 2026, so it's something to kind of watch out for rather than something you can rush out and start buying devices for today. But what should you do now? Well, for most of us, the answer is simple. Just carry on as normal. Nothing is going to change today. Just look how long it took matter to gain traction. And at the end of the day, everything you've got set up still remains supported. However, if you're planning upgrades and potentially looking to expand your mesh outdoors into the garden or garage, 
or other significant changes to your Zigbee layout, it's worth keeping Zigbee 4.0 support on your radar as new hubs and devices will almost certainly start to appear next year. I think this is a positive move. Matter is still trying to find its feet in some ways and Zigbee remains dependable. Extending its range and improving reliability is a sensible evolution and for people like us who have real world smart homes, these updates will make a difference. But I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Where does Zigbee struggle most in your home? Is it outbuildings, thick walls, long distances? What do you think of Zigbee 4.0? Let me know in the comments because I suspect things like Susie would solve a lot of these cases. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more of these, then don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and hype buttons. It really does help and lets other people get to see it as well. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.